Uy, may bago addition si Note 40 series ng Infinix and this is the all new Infinix Note 40 5G. This one has a Dimensity 7020 as its main processor, 12 plus 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Wow, ang laki ng storage. 15 watts na wireless charging, collaboration with MLBB Esmeralda, and probably the best of all dito is ang kanya early bird rate is below 10,000 pesos. Lahat yan yung share ko sa inyo after this quick intro. So I know intriga kayo sa presyo nitong phone nito. This is the Infinix Note 40 5G and ang kanyang 12 plus 12 gigs of RAM with 512 gigs of storage which is quite massive. Ang kanyang SRP will be 12999. But sa May 23 to 25 sa kanyang TikTok shop, this phone will be on sale for the early bird buyers at 9999. Official link on the description box below. Now, the Infinix Note 40 5G would come in three colors. Titan Gold, Obsidian Black, and meron din siyang Vintage Green. Now, one of the good things dito sa kanya is okay ang kanyang camera bump dito. Hindi siya makapal, just right enough. And pag nilatag mo siya sa table, hindi siya masyado mag-wobble. Ayan, tingnan lang guys. Oh. Hindi masyado nag-wobble. What's nice din dito sa kanya sa likod is matte finish and hindi siya slippery. Which is a good point. Except that ang kanyang side frames is very shiny, chrome finish and it's full of smudges. Now, ang design nito is medyo square edge, so medyo makanto siya dito sa likod. But okay naman ang grip ko dito, so kaya ka naman mag-text from edge to edge. Considering this price point, ang kanyang punch hole dito is not so big, and ang kanyang mga bezel is quite thin din as well. Now, ang papansin mo dito yung kanyang wallpaper is MLBB Mia. Pwede ka naman switch to another wallpaper, which is this one. The rest are just normal wallpapers na pwede mo pagpilian dito. Mapapansin mo rin mga sound of these icons are customized din based dito sa kanyang team. Now, pinaka-main processor na itong phone na ito is a Dimensity 7020. And it was able to give me a 452,000 points dito sa Antutu benchmark. And if you break it down, this is what you should get. For some weird reason, hindi tumakbo ang Wildlife Extreme. So, ginamit na lang natin ang Slingshot Extreme and this is the score. Ito naman score na kuha natin dito sa CPU benchmarking sa Geekbench. And looking quite good naman ang kanyang thermals. And it traveled to 90% ng kanyang best performance. And currently, itong Infinix Note 40 5G is running on Android 14. And it has a UI of XOS. S14. Now, ang display na itong phone na ito is a 6.78 inch na flexible AMOLED display. This one has a refresh rate of up to 120Hz and it has a 1300 nits ang kanyang maximum brightness. And by the way guys, meron din siyang touch sampling rate na 240Hz. And did you know meron din siya eye protection dito dahil meron siya 2160Hz na PWM dimming. Meaning itong phone na ito can protect your eyes on long usage. Now, kung ang hiling mo is social media on your daily driver, itong phone na ito is definitely going to perform dahil sobrang okay okay mag-browse dito be sa Facebook, sa TikTok, sa Twitter. Walang problema dito. Scrolling on this phone, talaga mag enjoy ka dahil sobrang smooth and I would say battery smooth ang scrolling dito sa phone na ito. And another good news is meron siyang level 1 Wi-Fi security level dito sa phone meaning you can watch all of your favorite HD sa online streaming. But if you watch mga videos dito sa YouTube, expect a good display dito. Mag-enjoy ang buong barkada, you and your girlfriend. Panalong-panalo ang display nito phone na ito. Now, sabi ni Infinix, this one is being tuned by JPL. And alam naman natin ang sound quality ng JPL. And this one has two loud firing speaker dito sa taas, dalawang butas. Dito sa ilalim, apat na butas. Which I'm pretty sure na meron siyang imbalance dahil mas mahina sa ibabaw and mas malakas sa ilalim. But pakinggan pa rin natin. Well, to my surprise, maganda naman kanyang sounds and katamtama ng lakas niya. Hindi sobrang lakas, pero hindi siya mahina. 
Now, this phone comes with a 5,000 mAh of battery and which can support up to 33 watts na fast charging. And good news, pwede rin siya mag-charge using your mag charge charger na nasama nito sa box, which is a 15 watts sa mag charge charger. Imagine at this price point, magagamit mo ng wireless charging na technology, no? which I'm pretty sure sa ibang phones, you only can see the wireless charging sa mga flagship phones. Now, if you want to use your wireless charging, kailangan mo dalaga ikabit ang case and ikakabit mo lang siya just like this. E mag-charge na siya wirelessly. And if you're the type of person na tulad ko, meron ako Ugreen na wireless charging power bank, pwede mo rin kabit dito sa likod and it will charge itself wirelessly. Ayan guys, charging na siya wirelessly. You know, hindi natatanggal. And if you're interested dito sa power bank na to, link on the description. And nakakatuwa rin dito sa kanya is pag nag-charge wirelessly, umiilaw ang LED na dito sa likod. Now, with a wireless charging capability, hindi mo na kailangan magkabi pa ng C2C cable sa inyong phone while charging using a power bank, which is very, very handy para sa akin, ha? just my point of view. Kasi kakabit mo lang to, wala kang wires, hindi nalalasbag ang iyong Type-C port. And another good news pagdating sa mga gamers, this one has a bypass charging. Mahanap nyo siya sa loob ng special functions. Ayan o. On a normal average usage, ito phone na ito can last you for one whole day without charging. And I'm pretty sure ito phone na ito makunan na ka ng battery. Except pag nag-heavy gaming ka, medyo mas mabilis lang talaga siya mag-drain. Napag-usapan na natin ang gaming. Ang ganda dito sa phone nito, meron siyang X Arena dito. Pag pinindot mo X Arena, papasok ka na dito sa kanyang game space which you can see all of your games dito na nakasave. Pwede ka dito mag-access ng mga games mo. Dito mo malalagay sa performance mode ang mga games na nilalaro mo. And I did play 3 games dito, Call of Duty Mobile, Farlight 84, and Mobile Legends. Pagdating mo sa Call of Duty Mobile, sobrang smooth ng gameplay dito. Playing for 30 minutes non-stop straight ha ng Battle Royale and ng mga free-for-all matches dito. Sobrang ako nag-enjoy sa kanya. And sobrang okay ang kanyang touch response dito sa kanya. I didn't feel any lags halos. And the best thing dito is immersive naman ang kanyang sound experience. And halos malamig naman ang phone nito. It just only heated up to just 38 degrees Celsius. Pagdating naman sa Farlight 8014, nai ko siya isagad sa all high settings yan. Pwede naman! Pero, mafe-feel mo sobrang frame drop, sobrang hirap ang phone mo. So, binabaan ko siya sa HD, which is probably the best optimized settings sa para dito sa phone nito to give you a better, smoother gameplay. So, ang gameplay ko dito was okay at HD, but there are some occasional na frame drops na mapapansin mo, lalo na kung medyo maraming na kayo bakbakan on a certain place. But overall, the gameplay was good, and I was able to play an hour and a half dito. And ang pinakamainin na inabot dito phone nito while playing Farlight 84 is at 46 degrees Celsius. I would recommend you to buy a phone cooler kung gusto nyo mas mabilis ulo mamig. And bago ko makalimutan, weather check, 28 degrees Celsius dito sa Manila. And I'm using an electric fan dito just to give you an idea ang settings dito while I'm playing these games. Pagdating naman sa Mobile Legends, it was a really good gameplay. Putting to all high settings na kaya niya, smooth ang gameplay, halos wala naman na feel na frame drops dito sa kanya, very optimized dito para sa kanya ng chipset. And halos kalating oras ako naglalaro dito non-stop. Pansin ko sa kanya, very smooth ang gameplay, mabilis ang touch response ko dito sa kanya and this phone heated up to 44 degrees Celsius ang pinakamainin na inabot ito phone nito after 30 minutes Napag-usapan natin ang camera dito sa phone nito. This is not only just a gaming phone but ang kanang camera is pretty decent as well It starts off with a 108MP na main camera sensor with autofocus and its aperture is 1.75 Meron din siyang depth sensor and probably the other one is a auxiliary lens Ang kanang front camera is a 32MP na main shooter which can shoot you up to 2K and 30fps now, simulan natin ang ating review with some outdoor shot. And I would say na taking some outdoor shot, it's really decent to be able to take some photos like this one. Maganda, sharp ang kanyang photo dito sa kanyang subject. And okay naman ang kanyang background blur. One thing na napansin ko dito sa Infinix Note 40 5G is mabilis naman siya mag-focus. No? And focusing on the subject, it was really easy and was able to capture some good details dito. And one thing na napansin ko rin dito sa kanyang camera, medyo mas matingkat ang kanyang green dito as compared sa akin naked eye. If you're taking some shot naman like this one, makita mo malino na malino ang karatula dito and medyo nagsosoften konti dito sa mga leaves sa kanyang background. Now, this is a no very normal shot na nakuha ko dito sa kanya and medyo gloomy ang weather. And if you try to take a 3 times zoom shot dito sa kanya, you'll see na yung building naman is a little bit blurry na rin. Hindi siya ganun kalino as I was expecting it to be. And trying it again, this is an a normal shot and this is a 3 times zoom shot. To my surprise, malino pa rin naman mga words dito sa 
kanya. Now, going up the bridge naman sa Quezon Avenue, I would say ang ganda ng shot nito ah, on mga roughly 5 in the afternoon. Uh, medyo pababa ng araw and I was able to take some really nice snaps like this one and this one and taking some sunset shot dito sa Navotas Bay well, it's also good and breathtaking naman hindi siya sobrang ganda but I would say na it's dramatic enough to represent a sunset shot taking a shot naman dito bandang late in the afternoon 6.30 dito sa Santo Domingo Church ang ganda ng kanyang ano na, medyo pag uh, night photography I turned on the night mode dito I was able to snap a good snap like this and this one is also good taking this shot pansin ko na medyo overexposed lang dito sa ilaw but overall the picture is not so bad and taking a night shot dito sa Chinatown Arc here in Banawe Okay tong shot na ito. And if you zoom it to 3 times zoom, well, kind of okay pa rin naman. Hindi lang ganun kalinaw ang mga words na dito. Medyo a little bit grainy na siya. Now, going inside the church na medyo madilim, turning on the night mode, this is a output na not so bad. And this is another shot. And taking some shot dito sa mga glass painting looks really nice pag zoomin mo siya. Now, checking some photos from the selfie camera. Well, honestly, not so bad na ganun photos. Quite natural pa rin naman ang mukha ko dito. And hindi ko masasabi na enhanced yung mukha ko dito kasi halos kita pa rin mga imperfections sa aking mukha and taking some indoor shot naman might look something like this one it's a little bit grainy hindi siya ganun ka sharp and taking some sunset shot naman dito looks quite na good and medyo grainy din siya and nung padilim na medyo hirap na konti yung kind of front facing camera dito sa Infinix Note 45G now, using the front-facing camera to take this shot, makita mo shaky siya and medyo a little bit grainy yung kanyang quality. But pag medyo maganda na mga ilaw, I think it's good. And nung paggabi na, try to take this shot, makita mo, no, medyo nagsishake siya and hindi siya ganun ka-stable dito sa kanyang camera uh, taking a video using the rear camera on night mode. But you can always turn on yung kind of ultra steady mode. Yung nga lang magsasuffer ang yung video, downgrading to 1080 and 30 instead of 2K and 30. Now, probably lahat ng kailangan nyo malaman, sinabi ko na sa inyo. And Tofone is on sale for 9999 sa kanyang TikTok shop from, from May 23 to 25. Masasabi ko, you should definitely catch the sale price kasi sobrang sulit siya. One, meron siyang Diamond City 7020 which is definitely better than a G99. Two, meron siyang wireless charging capability. And three, sobrang laki ng storage niya at 512 gigs of storage. Probably the only phone at this price point na, na may 512 gigs of storage based on what I can recall sa mga nare-review natin. And if that's not enough, may expansion port pa siya dito. This one, this phone can accommodate one micro SD card and two nano SIM na 5G. So, na-convince ka ba? If you want to know where you can buy this phone, link on the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends. And a sub to this channel would definitely be awesome. I'll see you on the next one. And so, ako para sa Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up? like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell for one of my latest uploads click the dito and for one of my popular uploads click here